in the this 10 days workshop we decided to break down improvisation according to in different different terms which we had already kind of vaguely come to over the last four years when we did on and off improvisations uh, interdisciplinary improvisations but now there was a need to really make it formal and so uh, Praveen started with making a dictionary the dictionary had quite a few things but uh, more things but also these the terms as we now call them we had pulse we had pacing we had flow flow uh, and a counterpoint became the big uh, that was yeah. the, a very course, interesting one which was vague easy and clear in music but in yeah. movement much more diffuse somewhere or yeah but therefore also more interesting to to work on How does one translate from music uh, into another kind of performance, where, where, let's say, with lights or with painting or with with the body, uh, uh, as an actor would or a dancer would? How do we listen to each other better? And this was the idea of the, of the terms. How do you actually understand it in working? And so if you took a term like uh, dynamic, uh, for instance, it has a very particular usage in music. And uh, can we actually come to that a similar kind of particularity while working with the body or, uh, you know, uh, or, or light or, or, or space, just working with space, for instance, which is why we like doing this, uh, the, the improvisation uh, format. It's, it's fascinating and for us personally, for our work and how it takes us forward towards a better understanding of the terms. Of the terms, yes. And th that was what I liked about this, these 10 days is that we, we never judge an idea. Hmm. someone's improvisational idea we just judge it by terms or how people are listening or interacting and so the idea is that this it's so interesting to see how people think and you can see all these undercurrents with everyone and and psychology and they, so their own personalities yeah. everything yeah so th there was no question of uh, uh, judging something as it, no. it's good or it's bad it's interesting or non-interesting, but to say that does it actually explore the term, or does it not explore the term, or is it and, another term? Yeah, or is is and then sometimes a new term pops out of it, and then we discuss that term and then we make an improvisation out of that.
by the finish. Which is now four minutes. Four. Uh, what for me was a, such a learning point was that was the prop how that becomes sort of uh, the, the death of <laughs> improvisation. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the well, yeah the famous toy piano, but <laughs> so that can kill off anything. Yeah. Uh, that I never thought of it like that, and also that even if an idea is good, at some point it has to go. And I found that a very useful term. What did you call it? Lifespan, lifespan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a much better. It's a much better term. To lifespan, say. lifespan is a beautiful. Uh, yeah. 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 The, the the lifespan of of, of a particular. Uh, yeah. And it's that on the outside mm. you feel everybody knows when an idea has to go, but on the inside it's different it's because, different. especially when there's a prop, then then, you know, it's like artificially. It's like you know some some medical machine which keeps something artificially alive when which should be yeah. dead but you, but you don't want to let go yeah you're focusing on one particular idea that you lose track of what's happening around it all the other mm. possibilities yeah and six of you are in the space you get locked to one little prop forgetting that there are like five you know other artists who you can actually yeah. be working on and your insistence on something can actually kill uh, uh, the improvisation for everybody as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, of course, like uh, uh, a lot of the time, you know, we, we were setting uh, slightly impossible time frames hmm. so that you, you, you would end up... A little bit too long. A just a little bit too long because then, you know, you, you end up at a place where you think, oh, now we've exhausted that idea and then how do you actually Probably where the, the, the more interesting creative ideas come. Yeah, they, and they did. Workshop and say, hey, you know, I have woken up with these three scores and I'm just jotting it and let's see if we can use it. Uh, uh, and for me, that that gave a, a new impetus. I mean, having started with the terms, to actually uh, uh, structure them, yeah, to understand how you can use those terms to structure a creation, that was uh, yeah. uh, that was a good moment yeah. uh, in this workshop yeah and and still people were doing their own they were doing their trajectories and being together but also listening then to the other traject it was yeah it was uh, yeah. and quite and, and you know two groups doing the same thing were very different very differently it. yeah I've been thinking about what a, what a next uh, workshop like this uh, over 10 days could be. Of course, this can be repeated and for some people we can keep exploring this when I, I think it, it's not done or something. It's never done. <laughs>